of course, we have, we have more or less a variety show, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, we have some very fine. We got the best soprano that's ever been in the business. I wouldn't say it's soprano, but he, uh, We have we have more or less a variety show, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, we have some very fine. We got the best soprano that's ever been in the business. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it's soprano, but he, uh, Mr. Cummings has a wonderful voice, yes. um, and we uh, uh, we have a little bit of everything to. Do a ventriloquist, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, male belly dancer, well, that's a male yeah. belly dancer, and a male ventriloquist, and an incredible line. People come in to see the first church, sure. right? Yeah. And uh, that's what I'm talking about. Um, they're both good acts, but I, uh, um, it's a, What are you saying, Carol? Uh, I'm saying that the, now the new, new, uh, emphasis is on use. Uh, the use Is that threatened? No. Oh. Talent will always outshadow anything. <laughs> <laughs> even, even, even kids and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> they say in show business, don't follow a kid or a dog. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> Cheryl, you had a question. I'm fascinated by such shapely legs. What do you do to keep them that way? Walking high heels. <laughs> well, uh, you see, the high heels makes them look, makes them look uh, more feminine. Now, the one fellow in the back said, "What do you do to hide the hair? I mean, what when you go to a beach without hair?" Don't worry about it. One. I don't know if we Two. Can. I got four pair of tights on. Ah, so it's all covered with tights. Yeah, it's all covered with so tights. So you don't shave your legs, you know? No. Do, do you, Laurie? If I'm going to do something uh, high cut, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. But don't most swimmers? <laughs> yeah, that's huh? true. No. Okay. <laughs> Shannon. How long did it take you to learn how to walk in high heels? <laughs> I fell over a lot at first. <laughs> about actually about six months. That's about yeah. Right. yeah. Where where you don't look uncomfortable as you walk across the stage and you don't stumble and trip and fall and do all those embarrassing things. And women, you know, they don't have cellulite. Men don't have cellulite. And they don't have those those saddlebag thighs that women are cursed with. <laughs> so they have beautiful legs. All the time. <laughs> you know, I think so. The people who live in in San Francisco and around San Francisco are very accepting. We're, I think they're more liberal than other parts of the country. And you do have a lot of folks who visit you from Iowa and the Midwest. Oh, listen, when we're you, lucky if the audience speaks English. <laughs> <laughs> we get them from all over the world. When you're on stage, I, I, the reactions you must get from audience members who are just can't believe what they're seeing. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. That's the truth. A lot of them come in with a chip on their shoulder, but when they leave, they're smiling. Oh, no, it's a very happy, happy show. Yeah. Pat, you had a question. Yes, I, as a psychologist, I was very interested in what are some of the psychological effects as a result of being in this business? Uh, actually, uh, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. I don't have any uh, <laughs> uh, hang-ups. It's a definite <laughs> double life. It's very schizophrenic. When I said it was schizophrenic, I wasn't kidding, because everybody loves you on stage, but they don't particularly love you off stage. Now, that is a good answer. That's a correct answer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I don't, a lot of people uh, don't know what I do. So it is a double life, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Uh, I, uh, I don't tell everybody what I do. A few of my neighbors know. But you see it as an art form, don't you? I mean, it's not something to be ashamed of. It's it is a job. definite art form. There's, there's, there's all, whether you're selling popcorn, sell it well. But when you fill out a credit application or something, they say, <laughs> where do you work? And you, would you put Pinocchio? Sure. And sure. Uh, I haven't filled out a credit application. Oh, I have. Well, <laughs> <laughs> For many years now. But, you know, I, uh, I can't remember how it was when I was... 
I can't remember how well, well it helps to be the world famous Pinocchio's because most people, even credit managers, have either heard it or been of it or been there. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So it it kind of you know if you some small dive down you know then it's not too chic. <laughs> you, you kind of uh, <laughs> is it Charlie? Mumble a lot. Yes. Sure. What I'd like to know is have you developed your own characters over the years, or are there any particular female? stars or celebrities that you have tried to pattern some of your mannerisms over? No. Well, no. well uh, Carol, Shelby Tucker, is it you? Well, uh, I knew her personally, and uh, she did a lot of fine things. You know that she supported her own orphanage. Sophie Tucker did? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. We... <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Really? We are the Sophie oh, Tucker never don't wore. Check mine. <laughs> so we heard a rumor that Sophie Tucker never wore the same dress twice. Almost. That she had incredible volume. Of that is very true. But I mean, she'd she'd wear wardrobe twice. Sophie was too conservative. You don't wear one. So her gowns Thousands and thousands of dollars. Oh, Is there you. anybody you look at or pattern yourself after, Lori? No, Lori's the creation of, of Don. Uh, but you must realize, too, I'm the only comedian in this business who does not do impressions. That's right. See, it's, uh, that was always the excuse for wearing a dress before. It was socially acceptable that you could wear a dress because you were doing Barbara Streisand or Liza Minnelli or Mae West or something like that. I don't do impressions. Lori Shannon is my impression. And that's hard enough to sustain without doing anybody else. How do you change your material? Do you write your own material? Yeah. Do you subscribe to services oh, no, that write one liners or what do you Oh, uh, you gotta make something out of when Lori's very clever at this when they say something to Lori immediately, he has a a, a beautiful uh, a joke for Come back. Her. Comedians think funny. Right. Mm-hmm. They don't think like he's normal human beings. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, always find the humor in situations, no matter how politically tragic it may be. They see the humorous side. It's a Don Rickles approach you do out there, in essence. Yeah. Without the hardness, yeah. yeah. You're not as hard. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not cruel to the audience. I want them to like me. I, I don't want to alienate. Yeah. To be in this business, you got to love people, I'll tell you. I bet. And I hope they love me. <laughs> yes! to ask the audience a question. Laurie is a terrific comedian. But doesn't he remind you of Maud? Yeah. <laughs> <Doesn't he? laughs> well, we have so often wanted to do a, a show about the world. Yeah. So, oh, she's a lot thinner, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we have uh, so often wanted to do a show on Pinocchio's, and we're glad we were able to do it this morning. We want to thank Antonio for coming down and dancing for us. Carol and Lori uh, are Continued uh, best wishes for you and the success as female impersonators. Thank Pinocchio's you. is open every night on Broadway except on Sunday. No, no Monday. Monday and Wednesday. Except on Monday and Wednesday. And there's the phone number if you want more information. 982-9388. The world famous. The best show in town. Our chef Jim Neal is next.